So I'm going to talk about the, um, the world network of mountain biosphere reserves. It's a quite young um, project. It's running for about two years now. And um, OK, uh, we we'll start with the role of mountains. We, we understood that the, the mountains uh, play a key role as, uh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone here in this room knows um, they hold some crucial, uh, they play a crucial role supporting life in this planet. And they are home to to a very large amount of population, nearly one billion people live in, in mountain landscapes. Also, they they are very fragile and they are, yeah, they, they are the most uh, by the biodiverse um, ecosystems in the in the planet. Uh, what is a biosphere reserve? Because uh, many of you maybe uh, are not uh, very familiar with this concept. It's not um, a protected area. It's more a landscape uh, management tool. And they are mainly places for, for research and for testing uh, transdisciplinary approaches to, to our challenges. Talking about the, the roles as, as research um, places for testing, and they play three main functions, the, the conservation of biological and cultural diversity, sustainable economic uh, development, and logistic support. But uh, in any case, the, the most important uh, feature of this, uh, of, of this concept is the, the role as uh, sustainability laboratories. Uh, next one, please. Okay, what is a mountain biosphere reserve? Uh, we are playing with a very broad definition of that uh, at this moment. So yeah, we, we are we are welcoming any biosphere reserve that uh, that recognize themselves as a mountain as a mountain area. Okay, next one, please. Okay, why a network? The, yeah, why a network? Uh, Currently, there are some, yeah, uh, 727 biosphere reserves uh, designated in the world, and uh, four, more than 400, nearly 500 of them are mountain mountain areas. So they, yeah, they they they, they cover a very big amount of the of the biosphere reserves uh, system in the world. And also, uh, they have some common features and some com uh, common characteristics, uh, challenges, and opportunities that uh, that allow us to 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 think on them as a yeah as a, as a concept, a very transversal concept for sharing experiences and and putting yeah new ideas into practice. Next one, please. Okay, our goals as a network, uh, first, uh, creating actionable knowledge for, for, mountain, for mountain regions, not, all, not only for, for biosphere reserves. Also, promoting research for mountain regions, not only on mountain regions. Uh, this means that uh, we are finding the, the linkages, the matches between the research opportunities and the necessities from, from these regions. Uh, taking into account their challenges and and so on uh, related to to global to global change, and also uh, this this network plays a role as a yeah, as a platform for for uh, exchanging knowledge and, and experiences. Next one, please. Okay, we are. I am going very very fast on this one. Uh, uh, we, we encourage uh, citizen and yeah, society to to be to be involved in, in the in the actions uh, carried out by this by this network, and also um, we want to attract financial and logistics support uh, for for the development of, of this network from yeah from a very broad uh, amount of of players. Um, next one, please. The next one, uh, just to be yeah, long story short, please. Next one. Okay, relevant themes for the network. Uh, there are quite a few. <laughs> Biodiversity conservation, citizen science and grassroots innovation, climate change as a uh, one main point of uh, yeah of action here. Uh, cross border cooperation uh, also. Uh, indigenous knowledge and cultural values. We we put them. 
yeah, into value uh, at mostly the same level as uh, scientific uh, knowledge and yeah, to, 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 to be um, uh, included into management practices and so on. Also disaster risk, uh, risk and impact assessments, uh, training and natural education governance, demography as a key aspect also and green economies. Um, next one, please. Okay, for these uh, two years, we we set up a, we set up a roadmap. This is the the specific actions we are we are carrying um, carrying out uh, now. Uh, we are uh, conducting a survey and compiling an inventory of uh, best practices among the members of the network. Also, we are creating uh, tools for for monitoring biodiversity and socioeconomic dynamics. Also. Uh, for measuring the impact of uh, the mountain bios biosphere reserves to the um, to the achievement of the sustainability goals. Uh, next one, please. We are also creating a communication platform for not only for managers but also for for uh, local actors related to to mountain biosphere reserves. This this is a platform for for facilitating the the exchange of information of information and and best practices. Also, we are focusing on the um, specific needs, uh, developing training programs for mostly for, for managers. This one, please. Uh, also, we want to, to, yeah, to, to push the key of uh, the education, environmental education and, and um, awareness about the importance of mountains uh, on a global scale and also uh, on, on, on the importance of uh, taking care of, of our local landscape and, and culture. Uh, we are also um, yeah, sharing and compiling a, a, those participatory methodologies that, that are working uh, well um in some areas that they are creating this uh, atmosphere uh, facilitating the the involvement of the population into into the management of of these areas next one please um for for in order to yeah to to go on to go forward with the with this uh, roadmap we we are started uh, to work with um, working groups in three specific um, uh, issues: they are uh, climate change, uh, participatory and participation, and, and local development, and bio, um, biology, biology, biological and cultural diversity. Uh, and at this point, we are yeah we are compiling also we are defining what, which which are the aspects that define um, a best practice in order to. Yeah, to define which ones are to to be shared among the members or to be scaled up uh, on a most uh, more broader perspective. Um, and the the aim of these working groups is uh, going from the individual experience that uh, may be yeah, put into practice in in a certain region to create a joint intelligence and to start uh, thinking as a as a group. Okay, next one, please. Uh, next one. Okay, how we are we are building this network? Uh, the coordination is um, is run by two uh, two bodies. Uh, one on the one hand, the Valles de Omani Luna Biosphere Reserve in in Spain in León, and on the other one, uh, the Research Center for Environmental Science of the Chinese Academy of Science. Uh, why these different two, two bodies uh, involved in the coordination is because from the UNESCO, that is uh, um, um, supporting uh, this network through, yeah, through the logistic and strategic uh, issues, they were very interested in, in having a research body uh, most uh, focused on, on research and science and other uh, that could uh, provide a uh, more uh, grassroots, grassroots uh, relations to the to the territory, and this is uh, brought by by a mountain biosphere reserve in this case. Next one, please. Okay, uh, this is a network that is not only 
welcoming uh, mountain biosphere reserves, but also other actors related to mountains on, in some way. So I would like to, yeah, to to introduce this network as a potential a potential tool for for everybody of you. If you think that uh, this uh, this end of this network could be of uh, of interest in in any in any in any case, uh, just uh, please put in contact with us, and we will be yeah help, we will be very happy to to have you as a member or or as a collaborator in in some way. And next one, please. These two are just uh, photographs of uh, this uh, this year. This one is uh, from an internal meeting in carried out in in Leon in May. In May. Next one. Also, well, <laughs> we 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 create activities also in the outdoors. <laughs> Talking about mountains is uh, something that we cannot uh, we cannot uh, uh, forget. And this one is a uh, is two weeks. Uh, uh, it's a very recent one. It's our first meeting in in China, open to to other members of the network. So it was our yeah our first uh, um, presentation as a the, of the network as a yeah as a as a running being, <laughs> so to say. So okay, this is a we have a website now running in in Chinese, English, and Spanish. So uh, I will I will share it the the um, yeah. The, the link uh, through the chat, also my my personal email, and okay, and we are very happy to 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 put in contact with you and to discuss any anything you consider. And next one, I think that is okay. How to become a member? Uh, it's very easy. Put in contact with us. Uh, we are now 46 uh, mountain biosphere reserves from 22 countries, and also I think there's three or four members that are not uh, uh, biosphere reserves. These uh, two research uh, research uh, bodies and another two, I think, uh, associates, local associations related to to mountains. So okay, looking for strategic partnerships, and very happy to to share it with you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.